Now let's work with the validator and mongoose model. In order to work with the mongoose model and the validation, I'll suggest you to install the npm package for performing validations. So let's install npm i validator to perform some validation. It is one of the popular library. It is installed. Now let's go to your application. Let's add mongoose into your application. So require, let's introduce mongoose. Let's add validator package require and validator. So we have two packages, mongoose and validator for this application. Now we need to provide the connection string for the MongoDB and some parameter. So we have done that part as well. Now let's create the model part where we need to work now. So here I have created the model employee with mongoose dot model and let's provide the collection name here but it will be pluralized by default by mongodb and here you will be having the field information for the employee model now i want to provide the first field name as f name which will have the type as string. I want to have one more field for employee collection that is gender, which will be of type say string. Next, let's have one more field that is salary and the salary for type will be number and i'll add one more field here that is email and i want the type for email as string now what i'll do is i'll make this field as the compulsory field by setting up the required attribute to true for f name. Similarly, let's set the required attribute to true for the email address as well. Now, in order to check whether the email address is of current correct format or not or correct formatted email or not what you need to do is you need to perform a custom validation by using validate method and this validate method will accept the value as input this value is always corresponds to the data for that field so if suppose someone provide the input as abc at the rate abc.com so that value will be input to the validate method now here i want to check whether the value supplied for email is in the valid format or not so to do that if validator dot there is a method called as is email within the validator so if validator dot is email and i'll check the value if the value provided for the email, if it is matching the regular expression, then fine. If not, then throw some error. So let's do that. Throw new error message and let's write the error that is 
invalid email id so this way you can provide some validation using the validator npm package that we have just installed now here we will put some sample data for the employee model and let's put the data say f name equals to some name then input gender i'll set some value for gender then salary get some put some salary email i'll provide the invalid email for now so this way we have some sample inputs for the employee now let's save it by using emp.save then there is a then promise it executes when everything fine with the mongodb and data returns back so we have written the then promise and then promise will come up with the result from the mongodb and if everything is fine i want to print that result as it is to the console so let's print that result to the console now after the result is printed to the console there is one more promise available that is called as catch promise this catch promise will be executed once there is an error so what i'll do is here let's receive the error and console dot log let's print the error message error is and comma error object that is coming from mongo so this is how you can work with the custom validation logic along with the validator npm package so it has many different functions available inside it you can go for the documentation of validator npm and you can go through all the methods available for the validator so let's run the application now let's go back and run node app.js and you can see that employee validation failed and if you look at what is the problem the problem is email is wrong reason there is an invalid email address and if you put a correct email address or proper email address this error won't be there and the data will be saved to the mongodb so let's correct it b at the rate save.com let go back to the console run the application and you can see that something went wrong and what is this time okay the file is not saved sorry so let's rerun the file okay so now the data is saved and the updated information is coming back from the mongo so this way you can perform the validation stuff with the validator and the custom validation method validate for the mongo's model and this is how while working with the project we set all the validations for the model within the mongoose model whatever the validation required and for additional validations we will incorporate validator npm package for performing the validations so this is the standard approach so stay tuned thanks